tomatoes are pretty crispy. You see how they look. Pretty dry. I'm going to go a little bit longer just to make sure. Because you don't want any moisture left in them at all. beans are all shriveled up. It's amazing how small green beans get. That just amazes me. And when you rehydrate them, they puff right back up. It's great. So that's the 48 hour mark right there. After you dehydrate them, Put them in jars, put the lids on, vacuum seal. They're good for 25 years. Well, I came out to pick a couple of tomatoes, but I've just gotten started. <laughs> I've got a bucket full, and it's not a small bucket. So, yeah, got lots of tomatoes. Nasturtiums. Noodle beans. Tomatoes. Lots and lots of tomatoes all down this fence. Basil. Some more basil. The zinnia is about done, but it has lots more blooms coming up on it. Noodle beans everywhere I look. <laughs> and I just planted a couple over here. There's a banana pepper. And get it in frame. There it is. They're blooming. Kind of hard to get a picture of it like that. Those spiky balls are seed pods, and when they're dry, the inner lining is cyanide, so you have to be careful when handling them. We're waiting on that <laughs> and that and that and that and that. We like butternut squash. <laughs> My Roma tomato fell over, but that's okay because it's got lots of tomatoes on it. And they'll be getting ripe pretty soon. You can see all the tomatoes. There's just bunches of them here, there, and everywhere. All over it. They make great salsa. Okay, time to go in. <laughs> 